The United Nations Environment Programme (UNEP), an agency of the United Nations, coordinates the organization's environmental activities and assists developing countries in implementing environmentally sound policies and practices. It was founded by Maurice Strong, its first director, as a result of the United Nations Conference on the Human Environment Stockholm Conference in June 1972 and has overall responsibility for environmental problems among United Nations agencies. However, international talks on specialized issues, such as addressing climate change or combating desertification, are overseen by other UN organizations, like the Bonn based Secretariat of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification. UNEP's activities cover a wide range of issues regarding the atmosphere, marine and terrestrial ecosystems, environmental governance and green economy. It has played a significant role in developing international environmental conventions, promoting environmental science and information and illustrating the way those can be implemented in conjunction with policy, working on the development and implementation of policy with national governments, regional institutions in conjunction with environmental non-governmental organizations NGOs. UNEP has also been active in funding and implementing environment-related development projects. UNEP frequently uses the alternative name UN Environment. UN Environment has aided in the formulation of guidelines and treaties on issues such as the international trade in potentially harmful chemicals, transboundary air pollution, and contamination of international waterways. Relevant documents, including scientific papers, are available via the UNEP Document Repository. The World Meteorological Organization and UN Environment established the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change in 1988. UN Environment is also one of several implementing agencies for the Global Environment Facility and the Multilateral Fund for the Implementation of the Montreal Protocol, and it is also a member of the United Nations Development Group. The International Cyanide Management Code, a program of best practice for the chemicals used at gold mining operations, was developed under UN Environment's aegis. History UNEP headquarters was established in Nairobi, Kenya, on 5 June 1972 as an outcome from the United Nations Conference on the Human Environment Stockholm, 1972, with a staff of 300, including 100 professionals in a variety of fields, and with a five-year fund of more than $100 million. At the time, $40 million were pledged by the United States and the remainder by 50 other nations. Topic Governance Topic Executive Director UNEP's current acting executive director Joyce MSUIA took office in November twenty eighteen, following the resignation of Eric Solheim. Prior to that appointment, she was UNEP's Deputy Executive Director. In December 1972, the UN General Assembly unanimously elected Maurice Strong to be the first head of UN Environment. Also, Secretary General of both the 1972 United Nations Conference on the Human Environment, which launched the World Environment Movement, and the 1992 Earth Summit, Strong has played a critical role in globalizing the environmental movement. The position was then held for 17 years 1975 to 1992 by Dr. Mustafa Kemal Tolba, who was instrumental in bringing environmental considerations to the forefront of global thinking and action. Under his leadership, UN Environment's most widely acclaimed success—the historic 1987 agreement to protect the ozone layer—the Montreal Protocol was negotiated. He was succeeded by Elizabeth Dowdswell (1992–1998), Klaus Topfer (1998–2006), Arkham Steiner (2006–2016), and Eric Solheim (2016–2018). Topic: <laughs> List of executive directors. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Structure. UNEP's structure includes seven substantive divisions Early Warning and Assessment DEWA, Environmental Policy Implementation DEPI, Technology, Industry and Economics DTIE, Regional Cooperation DRC, Environmental Law and Conventions DELC, 
Communications and Public Information Global Environment Facility Coordination Activities UNEP's main activities are related to Climate change Including the Territorial Approach to Climate Change Disasters and Conflicts Ecosystem Management Environmental Governance Environment under review Harmful substances Resource efficiency Notable achievements UNEP has registered several successes, such as the 1987 Montreal Protocol for limiting emissions of gases blamed for thinning the planet's protective ozone layer, and the 2012 Minamata Convention, a treaty to limit toxic mercury. UNEP has sponsored the development of solar loan programs, with attractive return rates, to buffer the initial deployment costs and entice consumers to consider and purchase solar PV systems. The most famous example is the solar loan program sponsored by UN Environment helped 100,000 people finance solar power systems in India. Success in India's solar program has led to similar projects in other parts of the developing world, including Tunisia, Morocco, Indonesia and Mexico. UNEP sponsors the Marshlands Project in the Middle East. In 2001, UN Environment alerted the international community to the destruction of the marshlands when it released satellite images showing that 90% of the marshlands had already been lost. The UN Environment, "...support for environmental management of the Iraqi marshland," commenced in August 2004, in order to manage the marshland area in an environmentally sound manner, in order to ensure full participation of global communities, UN Environment works in an inclusive fashion that brings on board different societal cohorts. UN Environment has a program for young people known as Tunza. Within this program are other projects like the AEO for Youth, International Environmental Education Program For two decades, UNESCO and UNEP led the International Environmental Education Program which set out a vision for, and gave practical guidance on how to mobilize education for environmental awareness. In 1976, UNESCO launched an environmental education newsletter Connect as the official organ of the UNESCO UNEP International Environmental Education Program It served as a clearinghouse to exchange information on environmental education in general and to promote the aims and activities of the IEEP in particular, as well as being a network for institutions and individuals interested and active in environment education until 2007, glaciers shrinking. Glaciers are shrinking at record rates and many could disappear within decades, the UN Environment Programme said on 16 March 2008. The scientists measuring the health of almost 30 glaciers around the world found that ice loss reached record levels in 2006. On average, the glaciers shrank by 4.9 feet in 2006, the most recent year for which data are available. The most severe loss was recorded at Norway's Breidelblikbrya glacier, which shrank 10.2 feet in 2006. Glaciers lost an average of about a foot of ice a year between 1980 and 1999. But since the turn of the millennium the average loss has increased to about 20 inches. Electric vehicles At the 5th Magdeburg Environmental Forum held from 3 to 4 July 2008, in Magdeburg, Germany, UN Environment and car manufacturer Daimler called for the establishment of infrastructure for electric vehicles. At this international conference, 250 high-ranking representatives from the world of politics and non-government organizations discussed solutions for future road transportation under the motto of, "...sustainable mobility the post-2012 CO2 agenda". Reports UNEP publishes many reports, atlases and newsletters. For instance, the 5th Global Environment Outlook assessment is a comprehensive report on environment, development and human well-being, providing analysis and information for policy makers and the concerned public. One of many points in the GO5 warns that we are living far beyond our means. It notes that the human population is now so large that the amount of resources needed to sustain it exceeds what is available. 
In June 2010, a report from UN Environment declared that a global shift towards a vegan diet was needed to save the world from hunger, fuel shortages and climate change. International years 2007 International Year of the Dolphin International Patron of the Year of the Dolphin was HSH. Prince Albert II of Monaco, with special ambassador to the cause being Nick Carter of the Backstreet Boys Musical Group. 2010 International Year of Biodiversity 2011 International Year of Forests 2012 International Year for Sustainable Energy for All 2013 International Year of Water Cooperation see International Observance and List of Environmental Dates Reform Following the publication of Fourth Assessment Report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change in February 2007, the «Paris Call for Action» read out by French President Jacques Chirac and supported by 46 countries—called for the United Nations Environment Programme to be replaced by a new and more powerful «United Nations Environment Organization» to be modelled on the World Health Organization. The 46 countries included the European Union nations, but notably did not include the United States, Saudi Arabia, Russia, and China, the top four emitters of greenhouse gases. In December 2012, following the Rio Plus 2O summit, a decision by the General Assembly of the United Nations to strengthen and upgrade the UN Environment Programme and establish universal membership of its governing body was confirmed. Topic: 2018 funds withholding. In September 2018, the Dutch government announced it would withhold $8 million in funding to UNEP until nepotism issues with regard to the head of the UN Environment Programme. Sweden and Denmark stopped funding as well. A spokesman for the Norwegian Institute of International Affairs said the freezing of funds was probably unprecedented. Topic. See also Topic. Sources This article incorporates text from a free content work. Licensed under CC BY SA License Statement, Issues and Trends in Education for Sustainable Development, 26, 27, UNESCO to learn how to add open license text to Wikipedia articles, please see Wikipedia, adding open license text to Wikipedia. For information on reusing text from Wikipedia, please see the terms of use. <laughs>